Hey guys, Augie from TNVC. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the TNVC Forward Controls Design Panel Cable Management M-Lock. So that's PCM M-Lock. Uh, the PCM M-Lock is a joint project uh, between TNVC and Forward Controls Design. A little bit something, that, a little bit of something that we came up with. You know, obviously, uh, a lot of what we do involves lights and lasers and, and other kinds of uh, devices on our weapons. And obviously, all of those devices need some sort of controls. And when you're putting controls uh, on your rifle, um, you, you know, a lot of times you have a choice between whether you want to use the onboard controls uh, of that device or whether you want to use some sort of remote switch. There are pros and cons to, to both approaches. You know, obviously, onboard uh, activation is, is almost always going to be much more reliable, but as you can see, you know, that limits where you can put those devices uh, because you have to be able to reach those controls. The other option is to use some sort of remote switch. Uh, and using that remote switch, you, you can place the controls where you want. However, if you use some sort of remote switch, you have a bunch of dangling cable. <clears throat> so this is a problem that, that you know, guys have solved uh, you know, in various different ways. Some guys, like I said, will just configure their weapons so that they can use onboard controls for everything. Um, but some guys have, ha have used things like zip ties, uh, fabric camo form, duct tape, um, one wrap straps and, and all sorts of other things to, to try and, and manage their cables and keep their cables out of the way. In the past, I mean, I have used a lot of zip ties uh, on like a Picatinny rail system. I really like uh, the LaRue index clips and I've used those for, for a long time. But obviously the big thing these days is, is a, lot of, a lot of people's rifles and a lot of people are going to some sort of M-Lock system or some sort of, some sort of modular system. So the need for you know, some sort of cable management is, is something that we identified um, for non picatinny type rail systems. Um, and what we came up with was the uh, PCM M-Lock. So we kind of you know, came up with this, this design, uh, approached our friends at, at Forward Controls Design, and, and they kind of helped us turn it into a reality. Now, the, the PCM M-Lock is, is, is certainly not the only M-Lock cable management option out there uh, on the market. There, there are a lot of different options out there. Um, but the, PC, the PCM M-Lock is, is kind of our take on it. The big thing about the PCM M-Lock is that, that unlike you know, zip ties or, or unlike um, some other cable management clip systems out there that will help you reroute the cables, they do a great job at that, you know, when we we're designing the uh, when we were designing the PCM, one of the things that I said to the guys at, at Forward Controls Designs was, you know, if I am going to create a product, if we're going to create a product to replace zip ties, it's got to do something better than zip ties than just look better than a zip tie. So one of the things that we identified is is that if you're using zip ties or something like that, you're really not doing a great job of protecting the cable. You're managing the cable, you're keeping it kind of close to the rail, but you're not really you're not really protecting it. It's still prone to, to being snagged or damaged um, in some sort of way. And, and you can also, also end up putting you know, some, some very sharp angles in them, which you know, over time, um, you know, cables are, are very flexible, but just like any other electrical cable, and really all of these are, are, are ultimately just coax cables, uh, if you bend them too sharply too much and you put too much pressure on them, eventually that's going to damage the connection. And that's one of the reasons that a lot of guys in the past have, have avoided using remote switches. So we came up with the, uh, the, the PCM M-Lock, um, and the PCM, you know, it's, it's a really simple product uh, made out of machined aluminum, um, and it, it only takes up, as you can see here, they only take up a single M-Lock slot. Uh, we wanted them to be as, as low profile as possible. Obviously, they, you know, they need a little bit of thickness in order to support um, running cables underneath of them. 
uh, but, but we did want them to be low profile so you can see there's no overhang over the m locks over the M-Lock slots. You can stack them either side by side or on different faces. And as you can see here, it pretty much entirely protects the cable except for that little bit that comes, that, that comes out of the device that, that you know, at the end of the day, you, you can't do all that much with. But that, this cable is routed all along the handguard here and, and it's protected from any kinds of snags or any kind of damage. Uh, the PCM M-Lock, is is uh, omnidirectional, so you can you you can mount it on your M-Lock rail um, in either direction, and it's got very it's got various channels inside of it that can support most commonly available remote switches, and and you can route the cables in any kind of multiple configurations. So you can see here, um, you can use dual cables like the like the Unity Taps. You can use Surefire factory cables. L3 Insight cables. As well as Steiner cables. And you can see, you, you can mount it in, in any number of directions. You can change the direction of the cable in there. And inside of the inside of the PCM, we've built in radiuses that that prevent, like I said earlier, the cable from kinking and becoming damaged uh, over time because it, because it's at too sharp of an angle. The PCM is machined from Bill at Aluminum. Um, it'll come in this little baggie uh, with uh, instruction and installation card because we know how much everybody loves to have instructions with everything that they buy. It'll come with a single panel, um, as well as the M-Lock hardware that you need already assembled. The PCM is available in Type 3 hard coat anodize in black, olive drab, and flat dark earth. So your, your major tactical colors. Um, and it also, you know, one, it's also got forward controls design, signature all angles, dimpled surface texture. So I know one of the you know one of the things that that, that everybody is going to say it's like well you, you know it, it's an aluminum panel that you're putting on your rail isn't going to get hot. So not only does the all angles uh, dimpled surface texture uh, give you a little bit more grip on the PCM if you have it located somewhere uh, that, that you might be gripping with your support hand, but it also ha provides a lot more surface area. So we have, in fact, done thermal testing um, with, the, with the aluminum PCM, and it actually stays you know, about 5% cooler than the rest of the rail. So it's not necessarily a heat shield in the same way that, say, uh, G10 or, or, or silicone uh, panel covers would be, but it's certainly it's certainly not going to get any hotter than the rail. And like I said, as a matter of fact, it, it stays about five to ten percent cooler than the rest of the rail itself. The uh, TNVC forward controls design PCM M lock is available from both TNVC and forward controls design, uh, as well as from all of our dealers. Thank you.